Okay, and um, now I'm back with Selena's work. So um, let's see here. Um, this first one, well, it's a little small um, to see. I, I, I think maybe, um, I don't have the instructions in front of me. I, I, I don't think it's um, lining up with the, um, this, this, the pixel width that, that I had. Uh, oh, here it is right in front of me, um, 400. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I, why are the rest of these looking so much bigger? I need to go back and investigate that. Let, let me double check. Maybe you did follow the instructions and it just, I, my instructions were just too small. Um, I'm, you know, like I said, still figuring this stuff out, you guys. Um, but, but nevertheless, um, well, you know, we'll go ahead and work with them as, as best we can. But, but this one, it's so underexposed, I can't even tell what's, what's going on. I can barely see anything. Um, so I don't know if something happened to the file when you uploaded it or, um, or, or, or what, but y you know, if, if this is how the image looked, you, you really, um, you know, need to go back and, and call again, um, bracket more, um, you know, or at the very least edit, you know, just all you would need to do on this one is, is drag the exposure slider some to the right. Um, and that would help a, a lot. Okay, so this one, symmetrical balance, vertical. This is a nice composition. It's not exactly symmetrical. It's more of a of a asymmetrical, you know, because you you do have, you know, truly truly symmetrical would be like a mirror on on either side. Um, yes, you have individual objects that are in here that are symmetrical, but the arrangement is not symmetrical. Um, now, now that said, it's a nice composition. Um, there are a couple of things that I would probably change. Um, one is I would probably shift it just a little tiny bit um, where I try one of two things, either shift it a little bit so that there's a little bit less foreground and a little bit more background but honestly, this is a super interesting foreground right here. So why would you want to do that? I would probably say maybe give it just shave a hair of this off. You know, a lot of times when I'm when I'm looking at um, compositions, I'm like, oh, if you could just you know take that window and move it down a hair, just shave a hair of this off, like right about where my my pointer is, and give that extra space to it right down here, just to kind of really feature that that foreground um, a little bit but it's a nice it's a nice composition um, but it's not really really symmetrical um, rule of thirds horizontal um, yeah yeah more, more or less there looks like there might be a little distortion in here um, I'm having a hard time kind of telling what's going on with it actually um, yeah, it's I, I I'm yeah, and it's a little. It looks a little bit off. Um, this one, I, I'm wondering if you um, smushed the image <laughs> um, be, because it just it looks a little distorted here. Maybe it's just the angle that that you were at. Um, but I, you know, I would say this one's a little bit of a better example of of rule of thirds. Um, I, you know, I, I think that you probably could have gotten down a little lower and maybe tried a few more, a few more things, you know, it's like, this is pretty good, but is it, is it the best, you, you know, is, is it your absolute best, you know, can you, um, you know, take a few more images of this and see if you can take something good and make it and make it better. Um, you know, so, um, in, in your, in your calling process, um, if, if you find yourself not having a whole lot to choose from, then it means you weren't taking enough shots to, to begin with. And I, you know, I'm not kidding. Uh, you know, when I, when I, when I say 10, 15, 20 shots, you know, you, you, it doesn't cost you anything because you're not using film, you know, it costs you a little bit of space on your, on your memory card and you can just delete it if you don't if you don't like it. So, you know, it, it, it's just a little bit more time um, and it, it can give you a lot more options. Okay, so rule of thirds contrast. I can see what you're trying to do here. 
Um, however, because this is so underexposed, um, I'm I'm not seeing much contrast at all. There, this is this is a um, you know a situation where um, let's see what are you using for your well you know I think what I would have done is if it's dark like this um, I'm not sure why I would be using such a small aperture you know I would say why not go ahead and open it wide up um, and then you know it'll make your sh shutter speed a little shorter um, but you know also you know if, I don't know if, with, if these things are you know hanging there or, or, or what you know but if they're moving at all um, you know you're gonna have some blur I just I just can't really tell uh, but I, I think that you need to stop and, and look at what you're doing and just, you know, de develop a sensitivity in your eye to say, oh, okay, this is underexposed. What do I need to do? I need to get more light. How do I do that? Well, either a longer shutter speed, you know, a bigger f-stop or a um, higher ISO. Okay. And so it's, it's just one of those things I, I'd like to see you practice that um, a, a little bit more, get a little bit more control a little bit more command over over it okay intentional imbalance this one still looks pretty balanced to me I guess I can see that um, you know it's kind of tilting to the side here a little bit but um, it's you know it, it's pretty much a, a better example of, of symmetrical balance than, that, than, that, than the, the other one so uh, okay and th this one really looks distorted too um, I can kind of see a diagonal here, but this looks like the ferns have been kind of stretched. Like, you know, you guys have to pay attention when you're when you're formatting these things. Um, if you change the size of something and you don't hold your shift key, you run the risk of, you know, stretching it out in, or, or compressing it or something. Um, and so uh, this is the kind of thing I want to avoid, this little corners here you know like if it's if it's not adding to the picture it's taking away and this is something that's you know real easy to just kind of pay attention to and and notice I'm not getting a real clear diagonal line here I can kind of vaguely see you know where you were going with this but it, but again I think you probably could have tried a, a few more um, things to do okay and then here's your your panoramic which is really nice but it's this one's a little blown out um, so my, my recommendation to you is is I'm seeing um, uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing that you really need to um, pay more attention to your exposure um, if if this is if, if this is something that um, you know you're kind of struggling with I highly recommend go back and you know review um, the you know the, the folders that I had you know at the beginning of the semester um, you know you, you can't you, you you have to take your time and and bracket and um, so yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to see for the next time we have a critique, I'd, I'd like to see you um, work on that uh, a, a little bit. Okay, so let me see. Let me close out of this one and go, we'll, we'll end with one of your stronger ones right here. And then.